Now, here's another one that we did. We've been doing a lot of these uh, for downside moves. And uh, here was another one that we did on a put calendar. This was back on the 7th. It was trade at 274.75. And so we did an adjustment on the 12th. And then we actually took all the profit off on the 13th when it was traded out at 256. So this one had a huge win for us again. So think about your trading singles and doubles. And occasionally you hit these home runs like this trade here. So it was trading at 274.75, breaking down. So we went out and we bought 19 October 274 put, sold the 10 October 269. So you can see the difference between 19 and 10, nine day difference on the spread on the day's expiration. So we did that and we set that up for about 540 per spread here. Then on the 12th, we took some profits and made an adjustment. And then on the 13th, we took some more profits here. So let's go through this one really, uh, really nailed it on this trade here from the adjustment that we did. The market had a great fall through to the downside. So here was the trade setup when we, when we set this up. It was trading right here at 274.75. And then we made the adjustment when it dropped down to this level here. Uh, so we adjusted it for a bigger potential move down and then took the balance of the profit the next day here. So let's go through how that looked. So with this trade, we originally started to trade out. Back up and I'll show you where we originally traded. We originally started the trade out being long the 10 October 274 put short the 4 November 269. But then when it rolled down and moved down hard, we rolled and adjusted the whole trade down and had a big, huge profit on the long put that we originally set up. But we wanted to stay with the trade for a bigger potential move down. So we rolled the whole spread further down to the downside. So you can see here we ended up now long the 19 October 267 put Originally, we were the 274, and then we sold the 14 October 258. So you can see that adjustment, and the adjusted price now was we only had 50 cents of cost in the trade because we took so much profit from the original 274 long put. Let me back up and I'll show you. So with this trade, we started out with the 10 October 274 put long. And so when it crashed down, we had a huge profit on that. So we took that profit out and adjusted the uh, long put leg down to now 267 and the short strike to the 14 October 258. But with the big profit we took from the original 274 put, the adjusted price now, we only had 50 cents of, of risk in this trade or 50 bucks. So you see the huge difference, 50 bucks risk, and the trade now was trading out at 256.68. So this was up $784 on that spread. So this was up $734 per spread. That's over 1,400% return. So massive home run there. So that's the beauty of it. With this additional diagonal, you can get these huge returns to be built into your trades, potentially built into your trade if, you know, if the direction keeps going. So that's a, a look there. That was a really uh, beautiful trade. And that again was a home run.